The Tin Forest, and it's by Helen Ward and Wayne Anderson. And it is from 2001, so it's not old. I'm going to read the words and then I'll show you the picture. There was once a wide windswept place. Near nowhere and close to forgotten that was filled with all the things that no one wanted. Right in the middle was a small house with small windows that looked out on other people's garbage and the bad weather. Oh, it does look to be a very dreary place. I think that's a dump or a landfill where all of our garbage goes. In that little house lived an old man and every day he tried to clear away the garbage. Sifting and sorting, burning and burying. Oh, it sounds like an exercise in futility, which means something that can never be accomplished fully. And something that's never done. Oh, look at how hard he is working. Oh, and every night the old man dreamed. He dreamed that he lived in a forest full of wild animals. Where there were colorful birds, tropical trees, exotic flowers, toucans, tree frogs, and tigers. Oh, look at his dream is beautiful. It looks like a magical forest. But when he awoke, the world outside was still the same. Oh, it, it, he looks very sad. And I can see why it's always raining and there's garbage everywhere. But one day, something caught the old man's eye. He had an idea. Dia, and it planted it, him, itself into his mind. So he found something that gave him an idea. The idea, it grew roots and it sprouted and feeding on the garbage, it grew leaves. It grew branches. It grew bigger and bigger. Oh my goodness, is he making a garden of garbage? What is he doing? It's fantastic. Under the old man's hand, a forest emerged. A forest that was made of garbage, a forest made of tin. It was not the forest of his dreams, but it was a forest just the same. Oh my goodness, he even made mechanical birds. Oh my goodness. Have any of you ever been to one of the sculpture gardens? There's one in Minneapolis, there's one in Osceola on the way to Taylor's Falls, Wisconsin. And they're free. You can go and look at the sculptures. It's reminding me of this. Oh my goodness. He made a tin cat and there's birds and there's little flowers that actually light up. Oh my goodness, there's a frog and a lizard. What else? butterfly. I'm going to hold this up here for a while so you can really take it all in. And 
One day across the barren plain, the wind swept a small bird. The old man spilled crumbs from his sandwich onto the ground. The bird ate the crumbs and perched to sing on the branches of a tin tree. But the next morning, the visitor was gone. So a real bird right here came and sang a song, but then he left. Maybe he realized the other bird wasn't real. Well, all day the old man walks through the silence and his heart ached with emptiness. And that night, by moonlight, he made a wish. He's sitting with his tin cat that he made by the moon. And he made a wish. <coughs> he made a lot of trees though. In the morning, the old man woke to the sound of bird song. The visitor had returned and his mate had come with him. The birds carried seeds to, in their beaks and they dropped them to the dry ground. Green shoots broke through the earth. All the birds brought seeds with them and the old man now has a real plant to take care of. That he's very happy. Soon the song of birds mingled with the buzzing of, is it insects, bugs, and the rustle of real leaves. Time passed and small creatures appeared creeping among the forest of trees. Wild animals slipped through the green shadows. So on this picture, you can see there's real animals and tin animals. And big in the back, there's a real tiger. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's another picture that's more colorful. Look at all the beautiful animals and the real trees. But there's still some tin and garbage ones, aren't there? There once was a forest near nowhere and close to forgotten that was filled with all the things that everybody wanted. Right in the middle was a small house with a small windows and in the house lived an old man who never stopped dreaming. Oh, look at now he has a real cat to hang out with and it's a big cat like Marley, my cat, who has some of his own videos up on YouTube under my name, of course, and there's all sorts of other animals there. He never stopped dreaming and his dream came true. That is the end. So if you noticed at the beginning of the book, it was the same sentence. It said there was, I'm sorry, it, it was near nowhere and close to forgotten and it was filled with all the things that no one wanted. And it ends with, There once was a forest near nowhere and close to forgotten that was filled with all the things that everyone wanted. So, because he kept dreaming his dream and working hard, his tin forest turned into a real forest. I hope you like this book and I will see you later for a different story time. Bye-bye.